What's up guys, it's Teddy, and today I will show you how to enjoy pearl shop items without spending pearls, and how to get those items that are slightly under what you can get with real money. When I first played the game, I didn't want to spend real money, and after all the changes made to Black Desert, Pearl Abyss has finally given non-pearl shop players some appreciation. As always, if you guys enjoy the content, or aren't already subscribed yet, be sure to do that now, and turn on all notifications so the next Next time you are enhancing something, it will one shot at 20%. With all of that out of the way, let's jump into how you can get the most out of the pearl shop with no pearls. Normally, a game wouldn't let you experience a lot of the items that can only be bought with real currency, but in Black Desert, we have the chance to get almost all the items in the shop with some work or patience. In 2022, Pearl Abyss has made it easier to get Pearl Shop items, so I won't go into using the loyalty or the central market. During most events, completing the quests or just taking part in an event indirectly can sometimes drop pearl items that cannot be bought in the central market, such as costumes, pets, and boat skins, etc. Logging in will complete each section of the login rewards, which will change monthly, but always reward something from the pearl drop that cannot be obtained during the month. Artisan memories are usually given out. And at the end of this login reward, we are rewarded with the Artisan Blessings, which is great for repairing gear. Don't worry, butlers and maids are rewarded too. Skill preset coupons given out on the login bonuses, and they can be given out randomly during events. Pets like the penguin can be obtained for login rewards. These can speed up fishing if a fishing pet is hard to get. Marco and Patrigo's apparel bag can be obtained weekly by speaking to Marco in any major city and simply handing in the amount of materials needed. Unfortunately, this will cost 400 to 600 mil if completed by buying the mats, but can be done by processing all the mats down yourself. Mount training and mount skill change coupons are just thrown at you like a bag of Skittles. Outfits that last for a week are sometimes given out, which the boxes can be kept until you want to open them. But you are rewarded with a premium costume as soon as you complete the main story. If playing as a shy, make sure you check to see if you're included on the box. Most times we are not included with the rest of the characters. Comment down below if you wait for these boxes to drop just to give out to another tune. This is how I have gotten most of my other tunes with premium costumes. If you don't want to wait for those items from the Pearl Shop, don't worry, there are some other solutions to some of those items that you either have to wait for or can't exactly buy on the central market. Not everything can be bought through the central market, but for this there are some great solutions that can be made using mainly crafting, quest, and just by simply playing the game. For a premium outfit, the Karlstein outfit can be made at any old moon costume mill, which will sport the same stats as the Pearl Shop variant. To get started on this, head to your quest, and inside the recurring tab, the quest can be found. For those who want an outfit but can't afford a couple million, there are lesser ones that have their own single stat boosts. A shy get three of our own that we can make. All of these can be made at any costume mill in any major city. For costumes, there are other options here that aren't as good, but there are some that might just be better. Most of these are easy to get while others are harder to find, but they are still able to be obtained. So don't worry. Completing Cybel's Blessing gives Vodabin's Diving Mask, which increases underwater breathing by 15%, which is half of the Dum Dum Diving Suit, and you can also make the Splash Swimming Goggles at any costume mill, which increases your underwater breathing by 20% instead of the 15%. The T4 Fairy skill, Tingling Breath 5, will speed up swim speed with a 2 minute cooldown, so this could be a nice replacement for the lack of diving suit. Now, for those who want the Splatfisher costume, a solution to that would be the Professional Fisher uniform with the Equipment Tailoring coupon. It won't look the same, 
but you will get a plus 10 fishing experience added on top of that plus 1 fishing ability that the spot has. As with the fishing outfit, doing the same with the professional gatherer's uniform will add a plus 10% gathering experience, making it better than the treant camouflage, just looking a little basic. Pets like Fluffy here are gotten through quests. There are a total of five that you can get. A lot of the other pets are handed out during events, most of them being T4 already. Some are given in the challenge tab, so keep an eye out. Those of you who are leveling fairies, the dark honey wand can't be bought or crafted, but you can make a lesser sweet honey wand. It will take more to tear up a fairy, but it can be done without spending any real money. Without spending any real money, new players, returning players, and just your normal casual players can still feel like they're spending money in the pearl shop. With a little effort and planning, it's easy to do, it's just mainly time gated. Using loyalty will take long, but you can fully max out your inventory spaces, town storages, and your weight limit too. Worker and stable limit can be increased during certain events, so keep as much loyalty as you can. Loyalty is given out for just logging in, during events, and the challenge tab. Using the central market, you can get value packs, the Kama Blessing, Books of Life and Combat, and the Book of the Old Moon, which will cost 160 mil each. This is mainly time gated by pre-orders, and you have to get lucky to see if anyone will sell you any. Outfits are given out so often, so having one will make you look like you have been on the pearl shop. For those who haven't completed the main story, you will be rewarded with one premium outfit box. Costumes can be crafted that have better stats, but the tailoring coupon is time gated with more pre-orders, but can be done quicker than the value pack. Getting all those pets will give you 5 total and some of them can be tiered up to increase the looting speed, so looting mobs can be sped up. If you want some pearl shop items for your house, furniture is given out in the challenge tab, just basic furniture you can choose from. Others can be obtained through events and logging in. While not exactly a solution for not spending money, a lot of the pearl shop items can be gotten solely by playing the game, and a lot of waiting. Not everything in the pearl shop needs to be bought, and they give out a lot of the items. So, if you have the time to spend, you can look good for less. I hope this helps you play the game a lot easier now. If you excuse me, I still have to get back to those dailies. Have a great week, and I shall see you in another Black Desert online video. Yeah.